Hey, what's up YouTube? Leo Sheng here, host of the Extreme Field Fishing Channel. Today is January 3rd, 2015. I'm here in New Jersey with my friend Mike. He's getting all dressed up at the moment. It is very cold today. It is about 32 to 36 Fahrenheit right now, air temperatures. You guys can't see really well, but you know, it's all iced up on the other side. Hopefully the lake is not iced up. And uh, the goal for today would be to catch some chain pickerel, okay? The one, one of the members of the Ezox family. We got here some live minnows, live mummy chogs. And hey, I'll be back when we catch some fish. Not sure if you guys can see this or not. But you see the difference in colors here? It's white over here. And over there, the eyes already melt. But here... It is still white, right? So like I said, it is about 32 to 34 degrees to 36 degrees Fahrenheit. And this morning it was about 28. So you know, it, we are just getting all the stuff melt down here, okay? Whew. All right, let me come back when I catch some fish. All right, folks, I finally got here at the Chadworth Lake or Chadsworth. I'm not even sure how it's spelled. I'm still adapting to the environment here, as you guys can see, very beautiful, right, all white for now, look at this, folks, look at this, yeah, modern nature is just so gorgeous, check this out, I don't know how well you guys can see, small layers of ice on top of it, yeah, it is amazing, it is cold, but I'm excited about it, anyways, before we start fishing, let me just quickly show you the setup that I will be using for today. If I get my, uh, if I can get my stuff untangled here. Oh boy! Come on. Well, anyways, oh there we go. I got it untangled. Setup that we're using for today: my Shimano Sedona, okay, 4000 FD, with my Saint Croix Avid Pearl medium light rod. 15 pounds braided line cast king with just a very small float okay and a size 2 hook that's it and i'm using about 9 inches 9 to 12 inches as a leader right now but you know i could change the depth here as we go right and for bait let me just quickly quickly show you guys we got here our mummy chogs okay so killifish all right that's what we'll be using for today i got three dozens here and we're going mainly for chain pickerel i'm gonna hook them through the mouth hopefully catch some fish we will see i'll keep you guys updated Whoa, 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 fish on, fish on, first one of the day, come here, all right, small, but a pickerel is a pickerel, man, <laughs> dude, there we go, it's very small, but it's my first fish of 2016, it is a chain pickerel, he nailed the minnow, you know, that's good, Wow, he nailed the minnow. All right, there we go. First fish of 2016. Small chain pickerel. Gorgeous. Let's take a photo. Quick photo, quick release. All right. Time to unhook this little fella. There we go. Time to release it. Now, note that over here it's all frozen. So I need to throw this guy a little bit farther away, yeah, to release it. I can't do a cleaner release than that, but don't worry, the fish is fine. Things that you don't see 
Wanna stay home, baby. Come on, come here, come here, come to daddy. Just score myself a nice spinner here. See this, folks? A double, double maps uglier, which is actually not in a bad condition. I mean, it's all right. Oh, worth it, very worth it. Holy moly, man. Whoever one had this line here, I need my scissors, but let's score my uglier. There we go. Yeah, double maps. Double maps number five, Aglia. Not bad, I'll take it. I just found a lure. Whoa, oh, I had one. Oh boy. Wow, that was a fish. Oh, now my minnow is kind of dead. Oh, there we go, there we go. There we go. See that? That's what's happening to me. Well, that's not only fish. Brother. Yeah, there's going to be some fish here, I'm telling you. All right, folks, uh, Chet's word was a little bit dead. We're going to the second spot right now. But this road here is not looking very good, all right? We'll see how it goes. This road here actually looks very sketchy, very small, not paved. Yeah, we're pretty much going through the trees, man. <laughs> this, this second spot better be good for fishing, you know? Man, what is with the little road? in the middle of nowhere here in the Pine Barrens in New Jersey. Scary. There's trees. There we go, fellas. See that? Complicated road right here. Go up and down. That's why I say, man, when you go out with Leo for extreme for the fish, this is what happens. This See is that? This is extreme. This is extreme, all right? Uh, by the way, don't attempt this outdoors if you guys go out, all right? We're not responsible for what happens to your car if you come on this nameless road here Nice, but it's a fish. Yeah. Let me see. Let me see. That's your first ever chain pickerel, dude. Yep. It is small, but it's a pickerel. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> All right, right, dude. There. You see that? I saw him in the water. Yeah. There we go. Let's take a photo of it. All right. Yeah, man. Fish on. All right. Might be a little bit bigger than the last one. All right, come on, come up. It's a pickerel. Yeah. Oh man, why so small though? All right, second pickerel of the day. Small fella, but a fish is a fish. Yeah. Getting a little bit bigger, huh? <laughs> Man, look look at the size of this mouth. And I, am I looking here? Yes, I'll be able to unhook it, no problem at all. Yeah, look. Beautiful fish. Truly gorgeous. Chain pickerel. Alright, let me take a photo of this guy, unhook it, and then we'll release it. Alright, go ahead, little fella. There we go. Second pickerel of the day. Whew.
Whoa, 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 whoa. Oh, I lost it. Took my minnow. I did too. Exactly. This one's not gonna bite again. Because it took my minnow. Yeah, this one's one digesting my minnow by now. It was real quick. What do you think they were? Pickerel. This one was pickerel for sure. Oh. Damn it. God damn. I put it right here on the weeds. I saw my minnow disappear right away. And then the fish just carried the little fish away. I was like, God damn. Got a little bit too excited. Set the hook too early, maybe. Damn. Damn, Leo. That's weird. No, I did get a hit though, so I, I you know, I'm not, I'm not all that mad. I'm not, I'm not all that sad now. Comes out of nowhere like that, though. Oh, that fish is digesting my old fish now. He's not gonna come back. Fish on! Oh. I lost it. Nice! You got one, huh? Yeah. <laughs> It was a good choice to stop by Hamilton Lake. Yes, sir. It's a nice one, too. Yeah, it is a nice one. Much, much nicer than the last one. Yeah, let's take a photo, man. Keep the hook in or take let's it out? See. Oh, you can keep the hook. Yeah, yeah. in case I don't... Yeah, exactly. A little bit, a little bit more towards your way. Flip it. Yeah, perfect. There we go. Perfect. All right. Yes, well, I'm away just fine. High five, man. Nice. Nice. Yeah, now now that's a good oh, it was nice. first yeah. pick row. You know? Very nice. All right, hopefully we'll catch some more. I, you know, I was like looking at my phone for a second. I saw a splash uh -huh. right near it. Uh-huh. But he didn't get it. He must have missed it. I, I see. back out and he's freaking wham. It's awesome, man. Good stuff. Nice. All right. You on fire, man. Hey, man. Small, large. It is a pickerel. Absolutely, yeah. We are catching. We are catching some fish today. Yeah. That's all that matters, man. Yeah, there we go. Very good lively. Good choice, this lake. You know what? Yeah, let's take another photo of it. All right. Great. Thank you. Thank you. This one is going on the Instagram. The phone one. Just gets to see another day. Yeah. Perfect. Beautiful. Good stuff, man. Yeah, absolutely. What's up fellas, Leo Shang here. I'm giving you guys a final update. So as you guys saw, today was a very brutal day. It is really cold. We started the day at this place called Chatsworth Lake. I caught one small pickerel and that was pretty much it. I missed two bites. My friend missed three bites on the live minnow. Then we hopped to this second place, right, called I don't remember, Oswego or Oswago Lake, <laughs> right in the Pine Barrens, right? Uh, over there I caught one more, uh, my friend missed a couple bites. We hopped once again to this third location, the little spillway by the Mullica River. Didn't catch anything, that was a very, very weird place. And finally we decided to come to Hamilton Lake, right? And we finished the day with a few extra chain pickerel. Overall, no big catches in this video. You know, I was really, really expecting to catch something bigger than two pounds. We had live mummy chogs, which is a prime bait for this type of fish. But it is what it is, right? For a tough day like this, when it's like cold, you know, very, very cold, brutal conditions, you know, I would take anything, right? So I'm very happy 
already for the experience you know uh, many of these places is it, it was my first time going there so you know the experience of exploring and getting to know these spots it was wonderful all right so this was my first session for 2016 i hope you guys enjoyed it many many more videos to come during the winter time on the channel okay tight lines i'll see you next video fellas